Go, here we go. It's first versus second. Where if we win that match, surely we will be crowned as champions this season. Hello, welcome to part 18 of Flight to the Premier British Airways. And in today's episode, we've got our top of the table clash against Westside and a league match against Hilltop. So, since the last episode, form has been absolutely wonderful since that uh, pretty um, horrifying show that we had in the last episode. You'll be pleased to know we've only lost one, out of one game since the last episode. Um, that was a 2-1 defeat against Eversley, which we did, ironically, beat them in the Challenge Cup quarter-final. We've got a semi-final coming up against uh, Brookhouse, which I'm not going to show you that. I, I might show you the final, if we, um, which obviously we will get to the final, because I know we can beat Brookhouse. Um, obviously, we did just lose against them, but we also lost the game. I, I don't know. I think we probably will end up getting to get into the final again, and probably... Um, Ended up, ended up winning the final once again. So probably we'll have a final coming up in tomorrow's episode, I think. But I might be wrong. I'm gonna. I'm, bottom line is, I'm gonna try and get knocked out of the Challenge Cup. I don't want to go through to the final, but let's not worry about that. League wise, we are performing very well, as you can see. Lots of wins, one defeat. League table does currently look like this at the moment. We are two points. Ahead of West Side, obviously a win will take us up to five five points clear at the minimum. Maybe a couple more points clear for Croydon News. It doesn't really matter what they do. As long as we win, that's all that matters. So the lineup will be Brig and Goal, a back four of Johnson, Stringfellow, Flat and Smith. Totsell and Kinsey in the midfield. Then we've got Oliphant on the right, Sartorius in the middle, Francis on the left, then Oliphant who... Uh, right. I think that I think that lineup's good. I'm not no I'm not really gonna mess about with the subs bench too much. I don't mind having a goalkeeper on the bench because at this stage of the season I'm pretty much set to who my best players are to, I pretty much know who's gonna be sticking around for next year. You can see it's got the ball here. Smith has the chance to cross it. He does. That's not bad, Oliver! Is there for the first goal of the game. 22 seconds under the clock. I'm pretty sure that is a new record. I'm barely positive it is. We can have a look after the game if it is a new record. Smith. So, about 20, yeah, 19 seconds on the clock. What was the original record? Let's have a, take a quick look. Fastest, fastest goal. 27 seconds scored by Harry Olivant against Hartsbeer Rovers. Harry Olivant has just beaten, beaten his record time by about seven, seven, eight seconds, I think. But obviously that will get confirmed after the game. I mean, it definitely was quicker than the last time he scored a really fast goal. So, I mean, what a start this is. What a start. If we can get another couple of goals in before half time. That will be very good. Francis has got the corner here. Stringfellow, Francis again. Can he get a good good cross in? Ibby goes down the box. Penalty. Come on, lads. Let's go. Right, who's taking this? Is Sartorius is going to step up for the penalty. Does he convert it? Yes, he does. He never, he never misses. Not from a penalty spot. Not that I've um, seen him miss a penalty. That's his 20th goal of the season. He's been performing quite well. So has so, so is all of the front four have been performing absolutely superbly. So much so, we have actually had to sell our left wing and centre attacking mids because um, they weren't just weren't getting anywhere near the first team, but they weren't happy with the amount of football they were playing. So decided to bend them, bend them off. We got like, I think we got at least £1,000 for our back up centre attack mid which his name slips my mind um i can't manage today we we had to send him so he went for a, a, about a grand so which was a uh, a record-breaking um transfer thing received which obviously that will uh that will get broken in a, a, in a, another couple of years time when we get into the um higher leagues of the efl 
here we mean. Come on, lads. Right, we've just conceded a goal. I'm not too worried just yet, because they've only had four shots, one on target. So, nothing to be alarmed yet. Not yet. But they, if they get an equaliser, I might get a little bit more worried. We are going to make one change, and that will be... Spencer Moore for Francis. He's looking him. He's not having the best of performances, so we'll get him off. Hopefully, he um, plays a little bit better in the next game. Zuma with a free kick. Oh my god, they nearly get the equaliser. That was close. And Kitty with a brilliant tackle to put the ball out for throwing. Come on, lads. We've got 20 minutes left to play. We just need to hold on to the lead. Get one more goal, which will probably wrap the game up. If we can't do that, just hold on to the one goal lead, please. Don't concede any goals. Well done, Brig. That's a good um, a good catch from the uh, back pass from Johnson. It wasn't the back pass, because um, otherwise it would have been an indirect free kick. Uh, Smith. Flat has got the ball here. Can we get the ball upfield? Kinsey has got the ball here. Come on, Johnson. Go on, let's get the ball upfield. Somebody get it through to Ibby. Come on. Oliver, this is looking... Semi promising, Sartorius. Oliver, uh, dude, that's not Oliver. Oliver Oh, boy, that's his 37th goal of the season. I mean, if I remember after the game, we must get him down to a new contract. I believe it. When's his contract end? 20. Oh, no, we've got plenty. Hang on, his contract ends 2026. Yes, we should be. Um, we'll offer him a new contract after this game. I thought he had a contract to. Um, Till next year, for some reason. I don't think anybody has that yet. A Sartorius. Oliphant has got the ball here. Can we get the ball into the box for one final goal of the game? Oliphant was in the middle but doesn't quite get there. Kinsey. Sartorius has got the ball. He's on the edge of the area. Come on. Oh, that's a good save. Right, I think we do make some final changes. Sims on for Smith. And I think we get on Aikens. He's going to come on for flat. But right, that substitution's done. Is there time for one more goal? No. Just the highlight peak doesn't. We don't even get shown the corner. And there we have it. There is the full time whistle. We do win the match 3 1, which does put us, leave us top of the table with at least four points clear. I think that's what I saw. It might be. It might even be five. I'm fairly sure it's. Uh, it's just the four points clear. Yeah, four points clear of Croydon, who now do creep into second just by one, the one point, followed by Westside, followed by Mosley and Yateley. Dorking, I uh, don't need to. I don't, I don't know why they're in this league, but they, they just, I presume they're just there to make up the numbers. Obviously, they can't go up. They can't go, they can probably go down. They just can't go up. It seems a bit pointless having them in this league, to be honest. So uh, let's not let, let that uh, cross our minds. So hopefully we carry on our winning momentum with a win against Hilltop. The lineup our match against Hilltop will be bringing goal a back for Johnson, Aikens, Flat and Smith, Totsdall and Kinsey in the midfield. Then we've got Olivan on the right, Sartorius in the middle, Francis on the left, then Ibi Olatezu up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a let's just get another win. I, I very much doubt we're gonna lose the hilltop. I don't really know where they are with the table. They're in, they're currently in eighth. They are fighting for a playoff spot. Whether they'll get one is another question. Well, obviously that's something we can find out in the next episode or two. If we, I, I very much doubt we're gonna get in the playoffs. I very much, I think probably at this point of the season, I think we are probably. Going to be looking towards trying to cement ourselves even further in the top position. So hopefully, um, I presume we've still got Croydon left to play. I think we do. I, I can't remember actually playing them, but it's the mission we have because they are in our league. I don't, I don't remember them being in our league. Uh, Kinsey, Oletasia has got the ball here. Is he through a goal? He was, but it's a, it's a poor shot. It really is. A really easy save from the Hilltop goalkeeper. Come on. Osborne has got a free kicker for, for his, his, the Hillies. That's what I'm going to call them. Because Hill, Hilltop. Ooh. 
who even named it? Where, where, where the hell, where the hell are even are they? But it's just a silly name for a football team, Hilltop. Or do they? I presume they play on the top of a hill. No pun intended, but that that's literally where they play. They have even got a hill up front for them. My God, I just I didn't even notice that. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Kinsey has got the ball. All about it. it's got the ball. It crosses it. He, it's a, it was a good cross, okay. But it be on a tissue, he's not a tall striker at all. Johnson, yes, well done, Jody Johnson. He does put us one nil up with 40 minutes left to play. Absolutely superb. Come on, lads, let's push for a second. Should probably, I want to say wrap up the game, but it probably won't. Bunker has got the ball here. Can we get it cleared? We don't. It's a goal kick. Thank you. I thought, was, I thought the referee had given an, another corner. Francis. Oh, come on, Oliver. Come on. Let's get the ball in, back in the box. Oh, my God. Who was that with the shot that hit the crossbar? Was that Olatayshu? I think it was. Oliver. Whips in the corner. Come on, lads. Come on. Oh, it looked like a, looked like a decent cross straight from the... Straight to the back post, but nobody gets on the end of it. Come on, lads. Right, I think we do. We'll probably give it another couple of minutes before we make our first couple of substitutions. Come on, lads. Come on. Right, I think it's substitution of the clock. Oliver is going to make way for Spencer Moore. You know what, Ibby? You know I'm in the best of games. Um, get on Elliot, obviously. He's not really that good so obviously he'll be leaving us at the end of this season he'll be, he'll be replaced not sure by who but he certainly will be i think that's probably all the subs will do for now we'll probably get off either one of the two center backs or jody johnson obviously that's a uh, to be confirmed well uh briggsy that's a very very easy save that is he's um i tell you what briggsy you may not be Good enough for tier 9, but tier 10, you were superb goalkeeper. He always threw a goal. Oh no, Jamie Hill has equalised for Hilltop. That is really, really poor. That is so poor. He should be doing a lot better there. Should have narrowed down the angle a lot, a lot earlier, I think. Come on, five minutes left to play. Come on, lads. Come on. Five minutes left to play. Come on. I don't want to lose my voice mid-game. Talk still. Go on. No, no. That's a poor shot. Come on. Are we going to have one more opportunity? Come on. No, but it does end in a, a one all draw. It wasn't... I mean, the first half... The uh, first half was actually pretty boring. Both goals happened in the second half, so... I, you can see, I, I, I'd say the draw was a fair result, but I think, looking back on that, I think we should have won that match. We should have had at least, at least one goal in the first half, but at least we're still top of the league. Still two points clear. Goal difference is absolutely near. No one's going to beat that at all unless um, we go on a severe losing streak, which hopefully doesn't happen. So I think... For now, we'll probably go to the end of the season. Obviously, if I think we can win the title before the end of the season, I'll obviously come back for that. So, But for now, I will see you all in the next episode where we'll be playing our matches against Ash United and Bent Font. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Telefootball Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.